St. Patrick's Day Event 2024 in Forge of Empires. Last year's St. Patrick's Day event has been largely carried over to the current year. First of all, the event is about collecting as many pots of gold as possible. You start the event with an initial stock of 200 pots of gold. Each time you log in every day, another 100 pots of gold are added. Each of the 35 immediate quests offers a reward of 100 pots of gold. The following 21 daily quests will even yield 150 pots of gold each. All quests are within the familiar framework and can be completed quickly as usual. They do not contain any surprising difficulties. When the milestone for the 20th quest is reached, an additional 750 pots of gold are awarded and an additional 1400 pots of gold for the 45th quest. Finally, the incidents in and around the city occasionally yield 10, 20, 50 or even 100 more pots of gold. This is particularly helpful at the start of the event. Very important, the aim is not necessarily to complete all the tasks in the city. The first city can even be completed particularly early. I can only encourage you to do so. However, it only makes sense to complete it when you have at least 1800 pots of gold to buy the boxes and start the second city immediately. You should also definitely complete all the easy tasks in the first city, especially if they don't cost any pots of gold. More on this in the separate strategy video. The main change compared to last year is the addition of two mini quest series which bring special rewards. The main prize of this year's St. Patrick's Day event is the Celtic Tavern. This 6x5 tiles building can be upgraded to level 7 and then provides a permanent defense bonus for the attacking army up to 75% depending on the age as well as an attacking bonus for the defending army plus additional bonuses for the guild expedition level 5. If motivated, a daily production of up to 35 forge points and 80 goods will be added. In addition, 5 fragments of a silver upgrade kit and a fragment for a Pagan selection kit will be produced. Similar to the main prizes of previous events, the silver upgrade kit can be used to further improve the building. It is then called the Enchanted Tavern, has improved stats and produces fragments of a golden upgrade kit. This can then be used to reach the highest level of the main prize, the Mystic Tavern. Now there are certainly several possible solutions. I am firmly convinced that completing all the tasks in a town takes too much time. Therefore, my recommendation is to skip selected tasks in the minigame in order to successfully complete at least 4 towns and buy a complete set of crates afterwards. I explain the tricks you can use in the St. Patrick's event minigame video of last year. We should all have fun with this in this event and afterwards with an event building that really sets new standards.